And welcome back to Wisconsin Family. And Janet and I have been enjoying ourselves here at Capital Brewery here in Middleton. And we'll uh, talk to those folks later on in the program. But first, we've got quite a lot to talk about here today. And we are joined now by Bonnie Pearson over from the Learning Shop here in Madison. Welcome back, Bonnie. Thanks for having me again. Always, always good to have you. You always bring something interesting to show and tell. Um, so today it looks like we're kind of covering a different age demographic than we've seen before. Am I right about that? You are correct. Okay. Today we are focusing mostly on hmm, two to four year olds, the little sure. learners. There are a few things that maybe go five to six, but most of them will be for your little learners. Okay, all right, that's very good. Just looking over all of this, it looks really similar. Is it all the same company? It is, it's from a company oh, called okay. Learning Resources. We call them LER all for right. short, but they are truly a company that do toys that teach. Most of these will have play value, but they will also have learning value attached. Well, that's what the learning shop's all about. It right? is, yeah. good. We just don't want to tell the kids. That <laughs> exactly. So, well, let's get started. I'm really excited to, to look at this thing here because, I mean, this is so cool. You turn this crank and then gears move. Everything moves. It does. So what what is what is this? What are we looking at here? That is called Gears, Gears, Gears. Um, <laughs> good good, good observation named. there. Aptly named. Um, and the, the reason Gears is so neat is not only does it give your child creative license to build either out or up or mm -hmm. put the little animals in or do whatever, mm -hmm. but it also you're teaching kids cause and effect. Those little cogs have to connect together otherwise when you turn that crank the rest of the gears aren't going to turn. Right. So it's a definite cause and effect type game and it's also their fine motor skills, putting sure, those yeah. pieces in the board um, and getting them to do that. And as you can see, they're, they're very colorful, very durable, you can throw them in the wash, you're good. Yeah. Yeah. Intentionally or not. <laughs> yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly, and then you've got uh, over there, it looks like you've got some uh, some fruit and vegetable type of things. I do. These. Uh, this is called Farmer's Market, and okay. it's a sorting game. So you may sort by color, which the baskets, oh, okay. Okay. you know, there you go. Or, or you may sort by fruit and vegetable. And whenever you're playing with children, it's a good idea to have that back and forth of asking questions because that's how you're going to increase vocabulary mm -hmm. and learn what's really going on up here. Right. So you could say, um, I'd like two fruits. Could you pick two fruits out of there? Oh. Oh, okay. And then you would do so. I feel like it's a trick question. Yeah. A tomato's a fruit. Tiny. It actually is. <laughs> you are right. Good for you. Good for you. <laughs> the pressure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> but but that, you know, that's that's one of the focuses of that. And a lot of times you're going to find these. I find them in the play kitchen in the store, too, because, well, who wants to do this? I want those over in the play kitchen. Right. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I've always had an affinity for the play and pretend food. I, I mean, know. What is it about that? I don't yeah. know. I mean, look at this cute little popcorn thing. Yeah. It's just <laughs> That's very cool. So, but we don't actually have popcorn in there, am I right? You don't. This whole line of games, this is the pop line. Okay. So this one's pop for sight words. This is another sight words game. This is word oh, families. Okay. This one's adding and subtracting and you're not using popcorn for that one. That one's bubble gum. Yeah. Okay. Um, so they're all kind of based on that same premise. You will choose a piece of popcorn. Okay. Again, the pressure. There you go. And then the child would read the word on it. It's a sight word. There. And if you are correct, which you are, you may keep your piece of popcorn. Oh, I see. So it's kind of like flash car cards, but it's in the shape exactly. of popcorn. Exactly. Way better. It makes it more fun. Right. Sure. And that's, yeah. we get a lot of that. My yeah. child does not want to do flash cards. Is there some other way we can learn sight words? Yeah. And this is a good way to do it. That's cool. And then if you choose the word pop, all of your pieces go back in. Oh. I, so sometimes I say take it out. If your child is one of those who just yeah. is going to fall apart Shut because down. of that, right, yeah. take it out. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. So I have one. How many do you have, Justin? I have zero. <gasps> you oh. win, yay! <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm curious to know about these vowel owls here because you've got some sitting out yep. front, but then the box yep. is right there. So here what, are what the is vowel this? Vowel owls. Vowel owls is a game um, where you're focusing on vowel sounds. Uh -huh. So. If we draw a card, Justin, I'll let you do this this oh, time. Right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reach across you. I'm sorry. Okay. So I got to just draw a card. Yes. And what is the picture? It is a seashell. Okay. So shell. What vowel sound is in the word shell? Eh. Uh, so is it is. It e? Yes. Which one do you have? Oh, she was, she was going to try to trick you. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> so you would just drop that in the vowel. Oh, e. e. Oh, okay. Yeah, Got they're it. all. So you'll have your A E I O U. That's oh, okay. one way one. you can play. It has short vowels. It has long vowels. So it's just a drill on 
vowel sounds very phonetic again okay. this is probably going to be for more of your kindergarten sure. first grade age than and these as well you know these will be more for your um, lower age child excellent mm -hmm. you know what I love about the learning shop is that if somebody goes and they're looking for uh, something that teaches X, Y, and Z, they mm -hmm. can ask anybody in the store, yes. and they'll be able to help you. And they're, everybody that you have working there is just so knowledgeable about what what each of these things teach, which I think is well, really, really cool. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. We're doing our job. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Real quick before we go, what, what is this? Those are just alphabet blocks, okay. and you can um, put them together, upper and lower case, and then they'll also make a picture. Oh, that's but cool. they're and, and you could use them to make little towers or whatever. And then if you really get creative, you could try to spell words, but I don't know if kids would get thrown off by only having a half a penguin sure. on there or something, <laughs> right. you know? Yeah. But that's that's the focus of it. You're you're teaching alphabet. Half yeah. a penguin, that'd throw me off too. <laughs> <laughs> Always something new at the learning shop. Bonnie Pearson, thank you so much well, for joining for us today. Me. Don't go away, there is more Wisconsin family coming up right after this. Stick around.